Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I recorded. Um, I think my last video was the bathroom reno and I was doing that. Um, well, you know, to do it, but also because my mom was coming to stay with me and I wanted to get it done fast. Um, I still haven't installed the faucet. I finally got the parts to install it. And then one of the pieces on it was like broken and it just sprayed water everywhere. So I need to fix that. But anyways, yeah, it's been a while since I recorded. Um, just like life, my baby turned one and we still have some decorations up from that. I did start doing a clean with me and then I was like, I don't know. I feel like I don't clean as much. <laughs> I feel like my life is kind of taking a turn for the better. I'm feeling less stressed about messes, which in turn makes me not clean as much or as hardcore. I just kind of pick up here and there and like, it's hard to make a video um, of me just kind of tidying as I go and live my life, you know? Um, so, I was thinking we could do a, a day in the life with a one-year-old or whatever. Um, I know a lot of people do this and my life may not be very interesting, but it's, I don't know, like I like being more personal on YouTube rather than just watching me clean. But anyway, so I woke up and I got ready. This is another thing with my life changing for the better. I've been going to the gym and I used to go to the gym sometimes. Like I went to the gym a couple times. I didn't used to go to the gym, but I went a couple times. And when we would go there, we would only do cardio and I hate cardio. And now when I go, I do like weightlifting. And I'm still a beginner, but I'm super proud of myself for sticking with it. It's my, I'm almost done the third week of doing it like four times a week, five times a week. I go during the week and sometimes I may skip a day. Anyways, it's irrelevant. And anyway, I got ready for the gym. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing sweats. I'm gonna be changing my shoes. And then I just got sports bra Lululemon. Lululemon, H&M. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is my boyfriend's. I don't know where I got it. Maybe like Marshalls or something like that. But, oof. oh my gosh. But yes. So we just got up, got ready. Quarter over here is having some breakfast. He's having a boiled egg, some blueberries and raspberries and making a mess. And we got Miss Rachel on the screen. I like to start, we don't watch Miss Rachel all the time, but he loves Miss Rachel. So if I need like a second to like, you know, wake up and get my groove on in the morning, I'll put on Miss Rachel. Um, he, that's like the only thing he'll watch. It's actually crazy how much he loves it. But I, I don't always put it on in the morning, but sometimes I just want to have like my coffee or my tea in peace or my breakfast. I haven't even eaten yet, but I'm having a chai tea with oat milk. But um, yeah, so plans for today. It, I think it's supposed to be a nice day. It looks nice out right now so the other day it was like 18 degrees here in canada in march it was freaking awesome but yeah so at 10 my grandma is coming to watch porter it's 8 47 now and then i'm gonna head to the gym for an hour and then we're gonna come back and i don't know putts around maybe we'll go for a walk no he says, no, 
But he also says no when he wants something. He doesn't know yes. And he says hot. And he's walking now. It's been so long. It's only been a few weeks, I think. But while this happened. Okay, anyways, I will talk to you when I have a date. Cool dude. <laughs> you have such a dirty face. Hold on. <laughs> Are you gonna show them how you walk? Come here, baby. Come here. Yay! Oh. Okay. This is Porter's outfit of the day. A t-shirt for now. His pants are upstairs. Um, so I'll put them on later. But <gasps> No. No. Wow, you are very Come here, sugar. Come here, sugar, sugar, sugar. Let's get you dressed. And this is why Miss Rachel is good because look at him. Just watch as Miss Rachel. Okay, well, right now he's not. So this outfit I got from Walmart and I went there to get diapers. We use Rascal and Friend diapers. Mm. They are, I think they're free of like, sorry baby of chemicals and things like that like some other brands i've heard i don't know have like very bad chemicals in the diapers so we switched to rascal and friends they're as affordable as the other ones are you cleaning the camera <laughs> they're as affordable as the other ones and they're cute and they get the job done okay miss rachel get out of my shot um, but we went there to get diapers and I went shopping and we got this. It came with pants. They're like little slots. And then we got mm. some onesies too. And they actually have really cute clothes at Walmart. He's mm. taken over. Mm. Not a cute angle port. Okay, I just pulled up to the gym, so I'm gonna go and do a workout. I think I'm gonna do upper body today. I'm still trying to figure out um, like a split, is that what you call it? I don't know, I'm new to this. But <clears throat> I like training my legs uh, and my butt because I want my butt to be butt, <laughs> buttalicious. I want a juicy butt and I have strong legs so it's easier for me to train legs but I think I'm gonna do upper body today because I did um I did like glutes the other day and then I did I already did two um leg days this week and I only did one upper body this week so I'm gonna do another upper body and yesterday I took a rest day so upper body today is the plan um I'm not going to film in there just because I just want to respect people's privacy. I wouldn't really want to be filmed um, if I was in a public gym. So, yeah. I'm going to go do that and I will talk to you guys when I'm all done. Okay. So, I just got back from the gym. Um, I was just talking to my grandma and then she headed out. So now it's just the two of us again, I think. Are you holding it? Um, what's the matter, sweetheart? Okay, sorry. Let me give you the rundown, the game plan for today. Um, so 
I need to go to the grocery store, like I said. Um, I need to eat breakfast because I haven't done that yet. But I think I'm going to. I've been making these um, like elixir shots and they're very good and make me feel really good about myself. So um, I saw the recipe from my girl um, on TikTok and I'll put her handle, her TikTok handle like somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, she made these elixirs just with the blender. I wanted to get a juicer for that reason. Um, but she made it with the blender and I have his food puree blender from when he was a little, a little baby. So I'm going to make some more of those. Oh, you don't want any water? <sighs> oh, okay. But stop acting like a crazy man. Just hang out with us. Um, this water bottle, I just want to mention quickly for any of my moms or dads out there. I've gotten him a couple different sippy cups, ones that you just kind of sip out and you have to tilt up. He doesn't know how to work that yet. Um, the one with the straw in it, but he pulls the straw out and pours it everywhere. This thing is awesome because he can handle it himself. Okay, dude, he can handle it himself and the bottom of it is like weighted. So if he tilts it upside down it goes in it and he can still drink out of it Look at him. he's so offended that i left him oh, oh are you okay oh hey we're good we're good but yeah and he can't spill it out doesn't leak and he can just suck out of it and it's a lid i don't know why i didn't think about getting him one of these first but would recommend that. So yeah, I think we're gonna get ready. Um, he's having like issues. I think we're gonna, by issues, I mean he just like, he just wants attention, which is like totally fine. He's my little baby, so I'm, o I'm okay with that. Um, but mm -hmm. I think going to the, did you wanna hold it or something? I think going to the grocery store will kind of distract him a bit, but first we're gonna eat. All right, so this is my lunch slash breakfast. So this is just last night's dinner. Um, it's just a stir fry with broccoli, peppers, mushrooms, rice, and chicken, and sesame seeds. And the sauce that I got, I just got a store sauce and then like added to it. Um, I got rid of the bottle but i found it in the healthy section and it's low sugar and gluten free and low sodium too it's like teriyaki sauce it's, it's pretty good but i'm gonna eat this then we're gonna get him dressed and i'm gonna get changed so i'm not in like a sweatsuit and then we're gonna go to the grocery store Okay, we are back. I'll show you a little haul of what we got. Um, I didn't get too much. I just needed wraps for tonight. We're gonna, we have leftover chicken from yesterday. So we're gonna have like little buffalo chicken quesadilla situation. And I wanted to get ginger so I can make those shots. So I'll show you what I got. But first, we're going to talk about the Starbucks because I know you can't have coffee, though. Um, I always get the chai tea lattes from Starbucks and they're so good, but I find that like I don't get energy from it. So I tried this coffee. It's the vanilla toasted toasted vanilla oat espresso. Um, but I wanted to have a coffee because I was very, very tired. Um, so moral of this story, if you have any coffee Starbucks order recommendations, please comment them below because I can't, every time I go to Starbucks, I get a iced chai tea latte 
sometimes with sweet cream cold foam and it's so good but i find all it does is have to make me go to the bathroom so tmi but yes i need um coffee recommendations from starbucks okay i'm gonna do a sit down haul because i'm feeling very lazy today hold on okay so quick little haul um dishwasher pots it feels so much later in the day my boyfriend gets home around 6 30 sometimes a little earlier mm, they smell good um garbage bags but it's only like one o'clock i don't even think it is one it's 12 53 right now and it feels like it's like 4 30. blueberries because porter loves blueberries he loves them and i didn't realize that they like help his um bowel movements and when my mom came to visit uh, when my mom came to i think he heard blueberries um she asked how his poops were and i was like like they're okay why are you wondering it's just like well when you guys used to get all constipated we gave you blueberries and it would help a lot and i was like oh that explains why he poops three times a day, but it's good. Uh, a whole bunch of ginger. I'm going to just freeze what I don't use um, so that I don't have to keep going to the store for ginger. These are the wraps that I got. I got some of this milk. Um, the nurse, when I went to go get Porter's one-year vaccinations, she said, I didn't know that you had to get or you should get three point." Two five percent milk. What's it called? <laughs> Homo homogenized. Homogenized. Homogen homogenized. How do you say that? Anyways, I didn't know you were supposed to give this um to babies. I knew a higher fat content was better, but this is like pretty high fat. I was giving him. I gave him one glass of two percent milk, and he actually really liked it. And I'm trying to wean him off the breast a bit. Um. He, he doesn't, he's, I think he's slowly weaning himself off, um, but he does not take formula at all. And then when my mom was watching him, when Donnie and I went out for a date night, um, she gave him a glass of 2% milk. Sorry, I don't know why I'm all scrambled brain right now. She gave him a glass of 2% milk and he actually drank that. Um, so when I was at the vaccination place the hospital for his vaccinations they asked if i was giving him milk and i said well he did have a glass of two percent milk and then she said okay well when you start to like when you decide that you want to switch over um start giving him 3.25 percent milk because it's good for their brains so i picked him up um in hopes of like for his nap times i can give him a bottle instead of my breast to try to wean him off a little bit more but yeah very useless knowledge that you just got right there. And pepperoni sticks. Uh, spicy. The best ones. So I'm going to put it away and then we're going to make some ginger shots if the little man lets us. But yes. Okay, so. I'm going to make these shots now and if you want the i don't know why i'm talking so loud i apologize if you want the um recipe like obviously you can watch me do it right here right now but um the girl that i got this like kind of recipe off of i put her handle earlier and i was talking about it go there she has better <laughs> like she has like proper measurements and stuff um and probably does it better than me i kind of um i don't know wing it a bit and so I hear, well, I've seen on TikTok that aloe vera juice is super good for you. So I add that into the shot, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not. Like, I think you're supposed to be measuring um, the amount, I think, because too much of a good thing is bad for everybody. Is that like the saying? I feel like I've heard that before. But anyways, I just add a little bit into it because... It tastes kind of gross on its own and I'm not going to drink it um, by itself. You're supposed to take like a shot 
or two a day. I'm not sure. But I add like half the, you'll see. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking. You'll see. What you'll need for this is ginger, pineapple, lemons or lemon juice. I cheat and use real lemon, which probably isn't as good, but I'm lazy. So I use real lemon. It's way easier. Like the tub real lemon, not like real lemon. Oh my gosh. I think the coffee is hitting me. And then I just put it into this thing. This is what she did. And I had an extra one. Like it's a, I used to use it for oil. And then I got this one for oil and I had this one just empty. And I was like, wow, what a great idea. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay. So frozen pineapple is going in first. If I can open the egg. Oh. That might be a little too much. Um, this is the olive vera juice. I just found it at my grocery store and I think you should probably, you, I think you could get it um, at any grocery store, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Think that much? It's up to here. If you can't see, maybe a little bit more. If you're like a health person, and know about this stuff and if i'm do like if this is bad because i'm not sure how much i'm having let me know <laughs> let me know and then lemon i like a lot of lemon because it kind of masks the spiciness um and then ginger Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that out. Okay, because this is really full, I'm just gonna empty out a little bit and then stick in the rest of the ginger. I'm sure, so I'll let him explore. Um, take out the knives. Okay. So I just have this little bowl and then you'll want, um, like this is just a sifter that I use for baking, but it fits perfectly in this bowl. And then like anything that's, will strain it out really nicely. I think one of those like bags that you can get, like for like almond milk, you could probably use that too. I'm not sure. This is just, this is my little system here. So I'm gonna empty some out into here. And then I'm gonna add this ginger in. Maybe a little bit more liquid. I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna blend. And then, so I like to add a lot of water um, just so that it's easier because you can see that it's like dripping out. Then she takes one of these things and just smushes it like so and all the juices are coming underneath so i like to go in batches um with juicing it it's kind of a process but i think it's worth it i think eventually i'm definitely gonna invest in a juicer or a better blender than this i make this a couple times a week so i think it's worth it for me but and every batch tastes a little different, which is fun. Okay, so after you're done taking all the liquid out, you're left with this mush. And what Sammy likes to do, the lady that I got this recipe from, is she takes it, puts it in ice cube um, containers, and then freezes it and later puts them in tea bakes and uses it as tea, which is a great idea if you don't want to waste. Um, but what I like to do is throw it out. So whatever 
whatever floats your boat. So this is the juice that I have. I'm gonna rinse this guy out and then pour it back into here just because it has a little spout. It did have a funnel to make it easier to pour it into this guy. Um, don't know where that is. So I'm just going to wing it and hope it don't spill over. Okay, and this part. <laughs> okay, so I made this much um, and a little bit extra and I just had a shot of it. And it tasted pretty good, very lemony, but pretty good. This guy is having a day. He he's just upset today, and it's kind of breaking my heart because normally he's a ball of joy. So I'm gonna hang out with him for a bit until nap time. But if you guys do decide to make this, um, I just store it in my fridge. Obviously, <laughs> it does separate. But I just give it a shake. Um, I just give it a shake before I drink it and it's totally fine. I'm just going to hang out with this little munchkin. He might need to go down for a nap early, but I'm thinking he just needs my love and attention right now. So I'm going to give it to him. Mm. Yeah, you're holding it. Okay, I just put Porter to sleep, um, and I'm just going to take a minute, take some me time, drink my coffee that I haven't touched, it's been a while, um, and just going to chat with you guys. Um, I just, I feel like, I don't know, I have someone to listen to when I talk to you guys for the camera but I know you guys are listening or some of you are um and yeah I feel like you guys are my friends and I know that it reaches um a decent amount of people and I hope that some of you guys um can relate to me I know right now my following my subscriber count is mostly male and I don't know like I don't know why that would be like no no hate to you guys that follow me um but I want to like connect with my girlies my fellow girls like I want to be friends with you guys fellow stay-at-home moms or working moms, moms in general. I want to have like a community on here. Um, so if this reaches you and you are a mom or just a girl who <laughs> relates to me, I want you to like comment and hang out and be here with me and I don't know, let's be friends. Like, friends doesn't have to be hanging out in person all the time. We can have internet friends. I feel like since becoming a mom, I'm a young mom. I'm turning 23 in July, so I'm 22. Um, and I don't have many friends anymore. All my friends that I had had, um, they're in like still a different stage of life than I am. I had to grow up fast from my partying, having fun stage. Um, after I found out I was pregnant, that like it changes a big, it changes a lot. So I just want to have, I don't know, internet friends, you guys are friends. I just want to have, you know, people that I can relate to and talk to and communicate with lately now that I've been um actually leaving the house during the winter it was really kind of tough 
I like I love Porter obviously with all my heart and I don't like leaving him for long periods of time but when it's freezing cold all winter and you don't really leave the house very often I didn't leave when it was like bad weather I don't like driving on the roads with a baby when it's bad weather so I was never leaving the house and it was very like kind of toxic to me. I was being it was I was always grumpy I'm I was always stressed out um, messes really triggered me noises really triggered me and it wasn't good for my relationship with my boyfriend and it wasn't good with my relationship um, with Porter just I was just always kind of on edge and that's just because I wasn't getting out and I wasn't you know having me time I wasn't communicating with other people other like adults besides the two people that I lived with um so now that I've been getting out and I it's nicer out we've been going on walks I've been going to the gym which is good me time um COVID restrictions are kind of lighting lighting lightening up a bit lightening up I think that's right <laughs> anyways um and then I've been communicating with some uh, friends that I haven't talked to in a while I can feel myself like weight lifted off my shoulders I'm in a better mood I wake up earlier I go to bed earlier I don't stay up super late and then feel terrible in the morning I get up in a positive mood I have more energy I'm happier I'm less stressed like the house is not clean it's not terrible but it's not clean and normally this would stress me out like I would be angry until it's spotless but why why be angry at that you know like I'm taking time now that I have my me time that I can go out um now that he's getting older and not as dependent on me to it just feels good like I feel like I can breathe again and I'm kind of ranting and rambling on but I hope um whoever this gets to this the rant I hope that like I don't know kind of brings some like reassurance or if you can relate to me at all um and I know like when you're in that kind of rut of doing like the same thing like it's hard to get out of and people tell you get out go do things take some time to yourself and yeah you're listening to them but you're not actually listening to them like yeah I hear what you're saying but it's like not as easy as you say it is I have a baby that I have to care for that I don't really want to leave plus I don't really have anybody to see when I leave and it's cold and I don't want to leave the house but I'm going insane in the house like you know what I'm saying um so if you're like in that kind of rut right now i know it's hard to i don't know leave the house or push yourself to do things that like you don't normally do every day um like i don't know especially when it's cold it, like i i don't go out on walks when it's cold like that is so fun for me but a walk now that it's getting nicer it, it definitely just it makes a big impact on that day and so that it just it's like a butterfly effect you know anyways I'm kind of ranting like I said but I hope this hits you where what am I saying I don't know okay I'm sorry but we're gonna go back to me talking about the girlies on here that this reaches please let's be friends <laughs> like i need friends even just internet friends that i can like socialize with so comment and i will respond to you <laughs> um but while porter's sleeping i'm going to do some tidying up uh just to get it a little bit more i know how i was just saying it doesn't even bother me but i might as well be productive plus the coffee's hitting me and I, i'm like shaking with energy um so i'm just gonna do a quick tidy up and then maybe watch some below deck um i'm re-watching that and it's pretty good if you have some reality tv suggestions let me know i've watched quite a bit so i need something i'm like re-watching things now but yes i'm gonna do 
tidy up. I'll let you guys see that because that's what I do on this channel is I clean. So might as well not hold back from you. And yeah, thanks for listening to my rant. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back after two seconds. I just realized how long this video was. So I am um, just going to end it here. It's like 3.30. Um, it's like a half day in my life. I don't know, I don't really have much plans for the rest of the day. I was gonna show you me tidying up, um, but this video is already long enough, so I'll just dedicate another video to cleaning because that's what I do, like I said. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it here. So if you listened to me talk all day today, thank you for hanging out and sticking around and for clicking on this video. I've been kind of slacking with the videos, not kind of, I have been, um, but you know, like I said, I'm still new to this and I'm still kind of getting used to it. And I don't know, I really enjoy these um, videos where I'm talking to you guys. And uh oh, low battery. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, more personal and stuff like that. I enjoy it. So maybe I should do more of these videos. I would ask for your opinion, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. Um, but. Yes, like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. If you made it to this part of the, the video, please like and subscribe. It honestly means a lot to me. I think last time I said like and subs or no, last time I said how many subscribers I was at, I think that's like maybe like 100 or 200. And now I'm at like 330, 320, 320, which is pretty freaking cool that 320 of you guys are subscribed to my channel it's weird to say but yes please like and subscribe and comment and i will catch you in the next video bye guys <laughs>